Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Swordworks. So let's start. First go to the assembly mode. Go here, click on toolbox, click on add in now. After that go to NSI metric, click on power transmission, click on gears. Drag your rack, ok. Now while dragging you need to sh make sure that you need to remember the module. What is the module you are using? and increase the face and width as per your requirement for example face width is 10 and height is also let's say 10 okay uh, i am going to cut through it so yeah actually you don't need to increase or decrease the width only increase to height okay now select the sketch press ctrl plus 8 now click on convert entities after that press ctrl a press ctrl c to copy it now click yes now click on here click on new part click ok now select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus v now go to the features click on extrude extrude up to 20 mm uh, sorry 10 mm a question as your mind why i am not using uh, this uh, the why I am not using the gear from the assembly? The reason is that if I do any kind of modification, uh, for example, extrusion cut or save it, it will run my whole geometry or design library. That is the reason I am saving them in a new part. Okay. Now select this face, press Ctrl plus 8. Now, what I am going to do uh, before doing any step, uh, what we can do is uh, right click on it and uh, make it mid plane so that it will help us in mating part ok now select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 now we will draw midpoint line escape select this line uh, just don't worry about it now select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 now draw a circle here Okay, I guess I'm supposed to uh, select three point circle for better results. Okay, so what we are going to do is go here, click on extrude cut, and click on thin feature, and just click on through hole, click OK. So we got our gear like this and press Ctrl S and save it as a rack 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 and close this and now it's the sketch mode right click on this part click on hide because we don't want to see this component and also hide the sketch and go to the assembly click on insert components click on browse and import the rack part remember the sketch we have made now go to the mates and select this line select the front plane ok now click ok select this line and select the top plane click ok uh, now it can only move in this direction only and what one more thing we can do is select the front plane click on mates and select the front plane of the assembly so that it don't rotate okay and now what we need to do is add our gear so to do that what we can do is uh, go here uh, select the spur gear add it uh, as you remember that the module of our gear was one so make sure that the module is same and you can increase or decrease the number of teeth as per your requirement but in my case i think number of teeth 13 is sufficient okay and go downwards decrease the nominal shop diameter as per your requirement in my case i think 2 mm is fine because uh, i'm not going to do any kind of drilling or something else so it's okay for me now i need to place it correctly so what I can do here is rotate little bit click OK 
select this mate select this face select the front plane click ok and now press ctrl plus 8 move this part downwards like this ok now I need to define distance from here to here so what we can do is go here select the central axis select this line select the top plane click on distance the distance here is, is 11 mm click ok select this face press ctrl plus 8 now I need to define rack and pinion mate so what I can do is go here uh, not this one yeah this one right click on it and click on show after that go to the mates and go to the mechanical mates click on rack and pinion it is asking for rack remember the sketch line that we have made just in case if if it is not shown in your assembly go to your eye and click on sketch so that you can see this sketch line okay select this line and in pinion gear select this line okay and click okay now if i try to do the animation thing select this face press ctrl plus 8 and try to rotate it uh, okay i have to do one more thing uh, the thing is that as you can see it is sliding so i don't want it slide so what i can do is select the mate select this line axis sorry right click on delete and select this axis and zoom out and select the right plane click ok now select this face press ctrl plus 8 if i drag it you can see my gear is rotating and let's try to do the animation thing uh, before do that let's hide this sketch so right click on this now go to the motion study click on here select this face uh, uh, let's select this face press ctrl plus 8 let's first make it here to do the animation you know good just in case if you want to learn about animation i have made a course of SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis you can learn everything about it link in the description it is a very great course and i have created a special section called doubts so if in case if you have any kind of doubts uh, i will just create a video of your doubt and put in the doubt section in my course so make sure that you check it out okay it's on Udemy and it's a very good course if you have any kind of doubts and queries you can ask uh, freely so click on here click on distance enter the value of 360 degree and it is going from 0 to 5 seconds just in case if you want to understand learn more check out my course i have explained everything in deep and details for beginners okay now go here hide uh, this view select this face press ctrl plus 8 and uh, let's hide this sketch as well now click on calculate so you can see the animation and you can see it's quite good and you can change the view uh, first right click on it click on disable and and click on play so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries make sure that you ask and if possible please uh, purchase the course or buy the course for better understanding it will really help me to make more content like this again thanks for watching and have a great day namaste